Hello and uh, welcome to a new Greylock tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you on how you can uh, make Greylock listen for ports which are uh, lower or uh, equal to 1024. To do this, you have uh, two options, uh, at least according to the Greylock official documentation. Uh, for example, you could um, run Greylog as a root user, uh, which is not uh, recommended. Or, for example, you can use authentication bind uh, for Debian-based systems or redirect the traffic with uh, IP tables. Uh, the safest one would be to redirect the traffic with uh, IP tables, but um, I'm going to show you also how you can run Greylog as a root user first and then I'm going to show you how you can uh, actually redirect the traffic with IP tables. To begin with, we will need to uh, go to the Greylog inputs and for example, if I'm going to create a new input, I don't know anything, I'm going to launch the input and I'm going to say something for the title and the port will gonna be let's say 514 yeah and after that i can go and save it so it's saved here and if you're gonna try to start it uh, you're not gonna be able to do it yeah so let me delete this one or actually let me keep it and uh, let me go to the CLI and over here we will have to edit the Greylock service file okay so we will go here and uh, for the user and group instead of having uh, instead of having it set to Greylog we will uh, set it as root so root for the user and root for the group and we will save and right now I'm gonna restart the Greylock service Ah, okay, we would also uh, need to run the daemon reload. Okay, and then we can uh, restart the service. Let's check to see if uh, it came back up. Okay, so everything is running fine. Let's go back to the GUI. Okay, so here I will have to refresh it. Okay, so an input has failed to start. That's normal. Okay, and we are running an an outdated Greylock version, but it's not important for this tutorial. So let's get back to the inputs. And over here, you can see that um, uh, our port started on a port lower than uh, 1024. For the um, second part of the video, I want to talk to you about uh, IP tables and how you do the forwarding or the port forwarding for uh, one port to another one. The setup is uh, pretty much straightforward as uh, they are telling you here. So for example, uh, you need to take this command, then go to the CLI and paste it here and hit enter. Over here in this tutorial, there is only one thing which they are not telling you about is the fact that um, if you just uh, enter this command for the port uh, redirection from one to another one, uh, after a while or when you reboot the server, 
the changes will not going to be saved. So you need to edit the file and I'm going to show it to you right now. So you need to go to Etsy and then sysconfig and IP tables config. And in here, you need to make sure that um, the IP tables uh, save or restart, uh, they are set to yes. By default, it's set to no. So you just need to make sure that uh, it's set to yes, uh, save the file and then uh, exit. Then the only thing that uh, you need to do is to create the uh, input, uh, which is uh, in our case for uh, 1514. And pre pretty much that's it. So I don't know, you can uh, edit this one, put it to 1514. And then, uh, you know, like the traffic will be redirected to this one and you're going to be able to see your logs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you like the videos, share it, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more.